So you might be wondering why I'm standing what looks like a circus tent behind me. This is not actually a circus tent, it's a termite tent undergoing fumigation. As a real estate agent, I get asked all the time, should I buy a house with termites? Are termites something I should be nervous about? Well, let's start out with the basics. What are even termites? Termites are often called white ants, but they're actually not ants at all. They're from a bug classification called Aceptera. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, to be honest. But the reason they're called white ants often is because they operate in a similar colony type um, arrangement, like a family. There are kings that fertilize queens. And a little weird fun fact is queen termites are actually insects that live longer than any other insect. They have been known to live as long as 30 to 50 years. So when you have a termite colony, you wanna try and target that queen. And ultimately what, we're ha what we have in the back of me right now is a targeted termite situation where we're doing fumigation to remedy the termites. Now here in San Diego, it's actually very common to experience termites. In fact, worldwide termites are an issue, and here's the reason why. Because termites love to eat things like wood and little wood chip, chip pieces and grossly enough, animal dung. But they don't know the difference between a home and wood. Um, and so here in San Diego, and actually in Southern California alone, termites cause $1.5 billion worth of damage every single year, eating people's homes and the wood beneath the walls. So in this particular case, you actually can see we're undergoing a fumigation right now where we have covered a structure with a very resistant um, like tarping material. And what's happening is yesterday, this tent went on and they actually pumped a fumigation um, solution into the home and it's airtight. So the fumigation actually sits inside the home for about two days until the air is safe enough to have the tarp lifted. The fumigation is so um, poisonous that it will actually kill not only termites but any other kind of bug that's in the home. And if you leave things like houseplants or food, it's a pretty bad situation. So you. For food, you're gonna to wanna to double bag everything and you'll wanna definitely take your house plants outside. So in this particular home, um, what's so unique is that we not only had to tent the home, but the garage as well. And that's what's behind me in this spot. And you can see we've got the danger sign here because there is fumigation and it is toxic. No one can go in there. And if they did, they would be in a real <laughs> tough situation because it's poisonous material in there for sure. So as I mentioned earlier, I get asked all the time, should I buy a home with termites? Are termites a big issue? For people who aren't from San Diego, it seems really overwhelming and sometimes frightening to know that there might be bugs within the walls of your future home. Well, it really comes down to partnering with a solid real estate agent, doing your due diligence, getting a termite report, and then remedying the work, if needed, with a termite tenting. So what's really um, amazing about the providers that we work with is they will look and inspect the home and then they'll evaluate if a termite tenting is needed or if we're looking at just section one repairs. When a termite um, pro professional does a inspection of a home, they're actually identifying the repairs as termite section one or termite section two. And another question I get asked very often is what are the different sections and what do they mean? Well, in layman's terms, and without getting too far into the nitty gritty, section one is active termite issues. So it means that termites are literally inside the walls, potentially having a snack as we speak. It's anything that's a present current issue. And a section two issue is anything that might be a future issue. So a great example of this is underneath the home where it might be damp and kind of like, you know, like a little bit grody of a space, the moisture might be making the wood um, a perfect home for termites. Termites love moist, dry, rotty wood. So a section two classification would be calling out any of those future potential problems in a home. And like this property right here, we're addressing the section one clearance issues because ultimately in most transactions, we will want to remedy any active termites, but it's important to know as a buyer, any section two items, while the seller likely won't be taking care of them in the sale, it's important to note that they exist so that you can remedy them in the future or keep an eye on them so termites don't make their home in your home. 
So I hope this information was helpful to you. We are John and Melissa Steele. I'm Melissa, the only one in this video today, with Team Steele San Diego Homes. And you can find more information about termites or other general home buying and selling uh, questions and resources on our website at steelsandiegohomes.com. And you can always give us a phone call to ask us any questions at any time at 619-887-4429. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you.